Double Dragon. It's your boy A Man. It's your boy Like We'll be back with some new heat for y'all today. You heard what she said. I gotta get my One Piece hat, man. It's too much back-to-back -back heat going on. I gotta get my Luffy hat. I'm about to go outside and kill a frog. That's all right. Can I remember what that frog trying to do? Oh, what the frog? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. But yeah, we on episode uh, 263. Yep. It's a lot of things happen on both ends. I feel like a lot of, in, in most of the arts, it's always two different main story, like, like stories, stories of progression, like, how you got, you know what I'm saying, uh, Sanji and Usopp. No, how they split up in the teams where it was Luffy, Sanji, and Usopp, then it was Zoro, uh, Nami, Chopper, and Robin. And then now we have like kind of like, it's kind of different. It's always like two teams coming together for one goal then finish uh, the boss. I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of always like that. Even Arlong arc, Alabasta, in a sense. Alabasta was like a lot of them was kind of together. Yeah. And then it was always like one or two that was off a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Alabasca, I mean, they really, they were split up a lot too. They had a yeah, lot of they split fights. up a lot. A lot, a lot. Arlo and Gark, they split up. Scott Kia, they split up. This They, they split have up. to do that. Because if we all together, yeah. it's wraps. It's true. It's, it's wraps, true. bro. All of them together. You as see long as Luffy there, and, or, or, or Zoro there, yeah. You see what Luffy and Zoro do by themselves. Yeah. Imagine everybody together, bro. Bruh, them two been showing out lately, bruh. Facts. Them two been showing out, it's bruh. It's been heat, bruh. Oh, my gosh. And then, I heard, I seen somebody posted in the comments said that Soge King, or yeah. Soge Usopp, mm -hmm. is like a braver version of himself, and it's like yeah. a different, like, character and stuff. I still, I understand, but I, it's hard for me to, like, relate to that. I think the thing that always, like, I still don't understand the writing of it. But I know one thing, every time I see them mess up or do something else, like, I'm not saying that I've, I've been perfect through my whole lifetime, but I got to keep bringing myself back to the fact that they're teenagers. That's kind of like the area where you are more susceptible to, to like, mess up a lot. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And then, and then, like, learn from it. So maybe, hopefully, in the future, if it comes down to, you know what I'm saying, him, like, battling a friend like that or... This seems like or, an ongoing thing. As far running as away, I would say that's ongoing. But... I don't know yet. It's possible with 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 it him. Like it it's possible be, with him. Oh, this is my braver self, the Soge King. Let me bring this out. It yeah. could be like his thing, which yeah. is why I was like, I understand it, but it's like, I mean, just be you, just be you. Just like you don't have to turn into something else yeah. to be brave. I, That's I, my thing. I just hope he learns from the fight. Him, 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 and Luffy learns from the fight and like ha handles it differently if it does happen in the future with yeah. the Soge King. I don't mind it being out more. I I think I can I can cope with him being having a brave like second version more than him just running away. Like I kind of rather him be the Soge King than running away all the time. But yeah. I'm pretty sure you're gonna keep running away. And are we gonna see Soge King after this? That's what I'm saying. I think this is like this it's might be like, something like that's a, a part of him. Something? Like like you know how people characters yeah. grow and stuff. Yeah, this might be a part of him. So they can't be going in though. Hmm? Like the the uh so they can't be going in though. He be lucky going in. One thing he did as So they can now is hopped in the room with Robin and shot that thing at the dog dude. That's all you remember? Number one, song. Oh. When you say going Number in, two. I'm thinking you're talking about like Number two. He uh he skipped all the carts when they found Robin. He defeated that person, the government agent. He was the one that got rob Robin on the cart. Remember, he threw the little thing down, smoked everybody when nobody knew what, what nobody knew what to do. Grabbed Robin, who's been who uh, was just trying to pretty much resist. Threw her on the train. Come on, man, man, the man, the man, the man, the man doing no, some brave stuff, bro. No way, you gonna convince me about Soya King right now? What is it that you are? Uh, I told you fighting man. against, but because it's more so like I feel like you're you're like. Problem with it is with Usopp, but not Soe King though. Yeah, how, Soe how, King been 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 doing good is what I'm saying. Oh, so you so 
at the end of the day, in my head, it's still Usopp. I mean, so it's yeah. like, so you go and change it to a blue sweater. All I said was that ever since he changed the Soviet King, he been going ham. He was going ham without doing, he made clutch stuff before without being Soviet but King. There's a mix of running away, like second guessing. The Soviet King, outside of him just being like nervous about be, because because the agent was trying to figure it out, he just been going off of action. Everything Soviet King did, Usopp did. Usopp I feel like Soviet King is the Usopp that I want forever. Because I don't think Soviet King like running away unless it's a situation where like, look, y'all, we are outmatched. I'm about to grab Robin and we're about to escape. You know what I'm saying? Usopp probably would have waited for somebody else to do it. Who knows? No, because he saved Robin from Ayokaji. This is true. He went in. This is true. He was about to he went but he had help. and he saved her. He had help though. He had Soviet help King did it by itself. Who helped who helped Soviet King get Robin? But the whole Situation like it's more than just Usopp not doing probably not doing nothing if he by himself. Frankie Sanji presence there alone is considered help. Do you think that he would he would be able to successfully grab Robin and run to the other car had he not do the smoke down? Do you think anybody was getting Robin before he no, did? I was surprised, but I'm saying he's done that before. He Nobody saved Robin off. Robin. This is his third time probably saving Robin. I just think you need to give Soge King his respect, man. I'm not going for so gay king. I need Usopp to be himself, own up to his shiznit, and and then grow instead of trying to. What turn about Luffy? Something. Luffy, own up. You coming up more than you coming up you coming for Usopp more than Luffy. What you mean? Usopp knew the ship was about to be. It wasn't him helping, and he still argued with his whole crew. But you don't think Luffy was at fault at all? No, Luffy should have uh, said it differently. I, we already said that, but I'm saying. Yeah, that's Hey, Usopp, what's up? I got you, G. Usopp, baby. Bro, if I know something already, I'm not going to argue with you off of something that's already, like, it's going to happen. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's, um, he kind of said that he knew that it was nearing the end, but I could kind of, the only thing that I agree with Usopp on is that, like, we've been on this whole journey where, like, if, if somebody say there is no such thing as Skypea, that's not stopping us from, from still trying. So saving the going Mary, he don't know nothing about Akil G. When he uh, well, he, talked, when he, he found out he about talked, it though. When he talked to to the actual um that weird name, the um going Mary's ghost, he didn't know nothing about Akil. The cure, the cure can be, yeah. So you automatically thinking like, okay, stuff can be fixed. Okay, so once Frankie told him about it, Frankie yeah. was like, well, Frankie first, even said first once 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 Luffy told him about it first. Luffy, Luffy, no, no, no. Didn't no, no. Even I was talking about once Frankie him. told him about the ship's uh, ghost thing. Yeah. And he understood what it was, and he had to get a realization that that was the Mary actually telling you, "I can't go no more." And he still, he still was, still was he still was like, because you've been with this, you've been with this, this captain that that doesn't that doesn't adhere to what what anybody's saying. So now when you finally, no, Luffy, he's not like he's not. He does his own. When thing. did Luffy say no? He does his own thing, but he he ain't like you made it seem like he was just like he do whatever and he don't care about what nobody think. He, okay, I believe the first part. Second part, he might take criticism. Luffy does whatever he wants, though. G. Luffy does whatever he wants, but you it's tell not him in that a, there's no it's there's not no thing in the sky. It's not on no mean leadership goes. type of way. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's not in no like disrespectful leadership type of way. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's he's going in trying to be disrespectful. It's just his his carelessness. Even Usopp said that as they was fighting that he's just reckless. Yeah. And I feel like ever since that fight, he hasn't been reckless. Like like that was kind of a wake up call for him fighting fighting with Usopp. Mm. Yeah. A whole lot of people saying that it probably happened during the Iokaji or something earlier, but I know for like I feel that's very, you, very that's confident. You realized it more. And that's me too. It just, it just, it just seems more, seems more, um, seems more accurate because you have somebody literally saying what we were saying was was the problem to him, and he's he's having these flashbacks of all these times. So like that that seems I noticed that like the time when we went to Frankie and smashed up his stuff, and he made the decision to that the Mary had to go. Yeah. That was the turning point for me as far as his like leadership changing a little bit or getting more like whatever. I can definitely say that it definitely started to turn around and change then. But yes. but um but it wasn't as like impactful to me. 
Yeah, it just started till, there. Till like, till like after. But I felt like Luffy should have just... I don't even think it was even a way to like to to uh, get Usopp off of like trying to save the Gorn Mary because it's just like one he he uh, cares so much about it because he's been the one that's hands on. It's like it's like very like sentimental to him. But it's just been the straw hat mindset that we do what we want. Like we can like if people say that we can't jump ten times, we gonna still try to jump ten times. No, I get it. So, but I'm talking about after you get the concrete. Then he's evidence. like, so do you remember when? He was just like, all the stuff you're doing, and now you want to take somebody's advice? When they was arguing inside the cabin. Mm. So, like, he was pretty much saying, exactly what I'm saying is, like, you've been not listening to people for this whole journey, but now you're listening to people. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Which is, which is understandable, because Usopp was not right there with Kaku. Yeah. And, like, this is one of the and situations And in that moment, where, I felt the same way, but it wasn't right. until after Usopp found out from Frankie. Yeah. That that's the the ghost and the ghost is telling your wingers mm -hmm. it's time. That's when I was like, oh well, dang, he was arguing. You know what I'm saying? Or not? He was, but he he, he didn't still, know that it was a recoverable though. Even after he heard any talking he to the um thing, he knew that it was near and he said he knew it. Yeah, he didn't know that it wasn't recoverable. Like he can he can. What does nearing his end mean? To you? he didn't even say nearing his end. He just said that I'm gonna take y'all. Uh, um. A little bit further, so like, yeah. So that from means that, you know that it's breaking down, but you don't know that you can not fix it because every time we came into to some money or talking about some money, first he was like, "Let's fix the going married. Let's fix the going married." He was always trying to get parts and stuff like that. I don't think he didn't know that it was un um repairable until probably talking to Frankie. So every because time Luffy didn't explain to him about the kill at all. So in that in that sense, every time the ship needs fixing, he gonna always think we can fix it. I think he knew that that the going Mary was on like his last stream because it was getting so beat up, speaking to the the ghost. But I don't think he knew that it was officially unrepairable. Like I think he still had that chance. Now some of his feelings definitely probably spilled 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 into that. But I don't think that he knew that it was at a point where you just cannot do it anymore. Like Frankie just broke it down. Like bro, no. This stuff is gone, bro. So what if it had been a year from now and we had these issues? He probably still would have been arguing with Luffy to try to fix the ship when somebody's saying... If it was a year from now with these yeah. issues, you probably wouldn't have got that far. It probably would have just broke down. Like, and, what, at what point do you know that you need to just be like, bro... I feel like Usopp finally realized that it was, um, it was like... It was unrepairable when Frankie was talking to him. and But that that his like feelings and his emotions was, was still was still tied to it where he couldn't just let it go. Like, it, it was in a sense like he was like broken or something like that. Like, no, yeah. no, 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 no. But during the whole Luffy thing, I don't think he, he, he officially knew that it was just, it was completely finished. So that's why he has that mindset that Luffy pretty much is still in everybody. Like, he going to do what he want to do. Like, we're not going to listen to nobody. We're going to go where we want to go. Do what we want to do. We can save anybody because Luke has been doing these crazy acts. Crazy, crazy that. acts. Taking down gods and stuff like that. I get so, that. I get that. Then he's like, now you want to take somebody's advice? Since when you listen to anybody? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I get that doing that part. I just hope they both grow. I'm definitely saying Luffy. Like, if, if I was to compare, I would say Luffy is, like, definitely growing as far as more as a leader. I just hope he handles the confrontation. That part... I haven't seen him uh, grow yet because they haven't been around each other to even see how they, they haven't been around each other. Yeah. But Usopp needs to apologize. Usopp needs to be so, Usopp. So you think it's only Usopp needs to apologize? I don't think it's only Usopp, but I've put more of the fault on Usopp, and I need Usopp to not come at him as no Soge King or no nothing. Come at him as Usopp, and y'all be men and y'all apologize to each other. Why do you put uh, more on Usopp? Because of what I said. Like, at before, when they was fighting, it was, like, equal to me. Okay. But once Usopp still figured, once he learned more about what was going on, and um, Frankie was like, you still argue with them even though you knew the ship was at his end. Frankie said that. And I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? That's why and I was That's like... That's why he said he needs to apologize more? I'm putting it to 60 he never, he, he never wouldn't even lost a ship had, like, Luffy wouldn't... Have, well, uh, left the crew had, like, Luffy would never would have said, said no crazy stuff like that. And, like... Mm -hmm. Luffy did get mad uh, and, like, pretty much frustrated, which is understandable, but you got to understand, like, you didn't really explain it to him correctly. Like, you was literally trying to hide it from him, so 
you can't you can't really blame nobody, but like I kind of feel like both of them is definitely at a fault. But I kind of wouldn't put one over the other. I'm gonna go 60-40. Yeah. Usopp 60, Luffy 40. But yeah, hopefully we about to uh figure out what this frog is. I'm just we should just ran that oh, yeah. thing over. What? That's the oh. legendary frog from Tom's backstory. He from Tom's backstory. I wouldn't say he's legendary though. What is he did as legendary besides hanging around? That's like that's like saying um uh like somebody's hype man is like legendary because he's been around them the whole time. Yeah. That's a bad because hype legendary man. Legendary is a huge word to use, man. Bro, he was around the time. He was around with Tom, Iceberg, Frankie, yeah. and they all helped to build that that ship for who all, all of them. All yeah. of them, all four of them, because they show all four of them at the at the cliff. I don't, I don't know if I'm putting legendary on it. Well, it's not just some random fraud that we don't know about. That's this, all I'm trying. To, that's all I'm trying to say. I agree. He's from back in the day in the Tom era. Yeah. That's, that's all. I'm, that's all I'm saying. I just want to roll. I I kind of just want to run him over so we can continue, but. I gave him his little stuff because I was definitely wondering because I thought he was gonna stop the train that was taking uh uh Robin. Yeah, because he been taking hand trains, hand. he been stopping trying to stop the trains all the time. And I was wondering when he was gonna pop back in the story. I thought he was gonna like throw him off, but I was like, nah, they can't be because they because they started off with him. They started yeah. off seeing him swimming, yeah. swimming like a human. So yeah. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited. And Sanji, what's the name was behind Sanji? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I I need understanding on that. Do you think he has a heightened like ability with Devil Fruit, or do you think it was just bad, um, bad uh, perception? Mm, I think he just, I think it was just bad, probably perception. I'm going to go as far as to say that it was it, like he can he can do more with his Devil Fruit, yeah, only because the only reason I say that is because I would have said it was bad perception had it not been some crazy Mortal Kombat green looking aura behind him that's from where he came from. Yeah. That's why I think it's like heightened. But had it just been a regular train, I thought it would just been like a bad perception thing. That's, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the only thing. But yeah, man, he, that's crazy, man. I don't think Sanji's in, I, they can't kill us because of the plan. No. Yeah. So. Thank God, thanks Robin. Robin, yeah. they, they technically messing up because Robin technically helping us out to capture her in the sense that she don't even know. Yeah, but Frankie uh, sacrifice. He's on the other ship with the other train cart with Lucy straw hat. And Khalifa and that was Kyle. when he was a straw hat to me right there. For real? Yeah. Like I kind of like wanted him to be a straw hat before that, but I felt like that moment I was just like, yeah, bro, I could ride with you. You know what I'm saying? Because he he was he was just showing like I'm putting my life on the line for these people I just met. Mm. Yeah, I messed with it. Yeah, man. But yeah, I'm ready to get into it. See what happens. Man. All right, let's run it up. Oh, saw this part. Indeed, the problem. Now it's showing the whole door. He be getting snaked, bro. I saw, oh, that's some dope, dope animation. Yeah, she looked at Sanji then back at him. Ooh, I thought he flew out the cart. I did too. Close. That tempest kick be slicing through stuff. Sanji's hurt. I'm gonna take that to the chest. Yeah. What if he explains what he just did based on Usopp saying something? One up. One up. Yeah. Mm. I think it was like a portal, like. It wasn't no like bad uh bad animation. Because like the way he said it is that he technically came from the front, but they messed it up and they. Oh. I'm saying that he he got some type I know. of. I he he was behind him at first. No, he was in front of them, and then he yeah. appeared behind them. I feel like that was something. I don't think that was depth perception. That was the bad depth perception. Okay, so we I pretty much, pretty much agree then. Yeah, yeah pretty much agree. How's he vanishing like? Can you give so they can't get credit for that? Facts. He stepped up to him. I'm about, to, I'm about to make sure we capture everything. Bro, in so your get, head, get. in your head, he's so good king. In my head, he's Usa. No, I'm I'm talking about, I'm saying ever since he went so good king, he just been going him. I'm just trying to get so good king check marks recognition. Up. I'm going to go back to Usa check mark too. We can Why you got to go back court. to that? They don't got nothing to do with so good king. Because I'm just saying, if he do the same thing, he doing. So you think regular Usa would have walked up and did this? He's done that before. From afar and ran. How many times he smacked somebody from afar and ran? How many times it even happened in the Arlong arc? Like twice that I can already say right now. Smacking, he, smacking Arlong. He showed smack. up on top of the roof and hit Arlong and then. Dip. No, he, he, hey. This man put his life on the line. CP9. Yeah, this dude can make doors. I think that's just his, the aura is just like part of his thing. But did he have to? All right. This, this probably a joke. <laughs> Do you think that he had to, uh, 
he had to do that to against Usopp though. Think about it. Like, why would he even use that move against Usopp? Like, nope. so you'd be able to take that. Yeah, but but it's it show King, how he got behind. It show how Soga King's prowess. Because t- <laughs> I was just playing. <laughs> My best would have a Sugar King helmet on next uh, episode. Sugar King helmet. No, I was just trolling. Sugar King first blood though. Huh? That what he said? No, nope. I heard boy boy though. Oh, so he did come from that. Yeah, then he made a door out of. Wall of air, air door. Is that the true value? The true value. Oh my God! How far can he do that? Can he do it like? Can he take them all back through his door? He has to. Oh, he already he... finger pointed them. How the heck he? he now that was some death perception stuff. He was just right there. He about to take her. Bro, like, come on, man. Two of them. We know Usopp to be a durable character. So he can oh, I can't two, say Usopp. two finger pistols. I'm just saying. Hey, Sanji got up. He was an iron bite. He didn't gonna call it a weak kick, right? Ah, oh, because he he did actually break through an iron body. And as long as you just fighting other people, I ain't give him a break. Come on, stubborn. Uh, I guess you shouldn't have showed up. Still got away. Usopp took two hits. I mean, Sole King took two hits without the captain's permission, and he's still getting up. This is I mean. Without that catch Wait, hold on, hold on, pause this. Huh? What's up? So is Soge King you just seem confused right now. <laughs> is Soge King technically saying he's still a strong hat? Because he's saying we can't leave. In a sense, yeah. This is uh unless it's our captain's orders. In a sense, yeah. I thought the same thing. It's like it's like it's like ever since he start ever since he got in contact with Robin, everything he's been telling her is kinda like he's been telling himself, in a sense. Because Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's fire yeah, built up. So <laughs> it's fire's building up in Robin, man. Low key. Oh, I mean, she remembers. Did she see a Buster call before? And here we think they they made it seem like she destroyed everything. Because oh, he said she hiding. This is probably it. Oh, she don't want to see this again with her friends. She lived through a Buster call. So I didn't know that she lived through one. That that explains a lot. A, a little wow. bit. Wow. Hey, another hit. How many things are going to fly through? You heard over that? They took an island out? Was the child of Nico Robin? It was, it was her. It was her. Five of them? It was probably uh, Elkaji that she remember. And manipulating them, basically. Blackmailing them off her emotions. Oh, I don't like this scene. Okay. Thank you. Like, oh, boy. Is he going to break the door? Mm. Look, he's going to punch it and he's just kick it. Bro, wait till Luffy is so much <laughs> show in his raps, bro. He's like, man, I'm going to sacrifice for you, little petty. Oh, I just had to add that. He walked right past him. He went to the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's just a lot, man. He wrote a book about him. He was crazy. Oh. He read the whole thing. Oh, at least he didn't stop it. He just hopped on top. Oh, he wanted to just come with us? Don't rip me, you jerk. Oh, he actually did do it. <laughs> He's not going to eat you. <laughs> Dude. It's the fight of the art, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they tired himself out trying to get through the thing. Hello. I just let people go one at a time. <laughs> what are we gonna do? We can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Man, I slept through that. Don't drown like her, y'all. She drowned under the influence. Drunk as heck. Dang, why you gotta say it like that? Dang, quick with the turbo. <laughs> 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 just like that. I didn't know that frog was that freaking large, bro. Jeez. They've been knowing each other for years, years. Oh, he thought she got kidnapped. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, so we didn't get derailed? I thought we did. Shoot, I thought we detached from the main thing. <laughs> he said she's more frog than human. Mm. Well, so what for them? They probably gonna show up in the nick of time when we need them or something. What are they gonna do though? What do they do got them super powerful lap racing? They in front of us? <laughs> they got ready fast to say, bro. Bro, how did they get there first? That's why I said I thought they were behind. Bring out brows. This one got glasses on. About to see in this lobby for the first time. For real. This is home. Home place? Nightless? Thanks. Yeah, it was all day time here. She talking about Tom? Uh, Spottom. Iceberg. Oh, Iceberg. So I thought somebody else said that he was oh, alive. Oh, well, he knew Spottom was alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you know kind of. She like, whatever. Now, now that I do think about it, he actually said that correctly. Because it's like, he can build it, she can use it maybe. Find it, yeah. Uncover it. Yeah. Or maybe I think it's two different things, is it? Maybe it's two different things? I don't know. Because that's Pluton. Hers is probably bigger. No, they both is Pluton. Pluton. The whole thing's about Pluton? I don't think what 
You talking about that, that Goldie Roger riddle? You talking about the real pony glyphs stuff? Yeah. All that leader. I don't think that's the Pluton stuff. I think the I think it's one piece stuff, Lil Key. That that like riddle with Goldie Roger and the pony glyphs or something like that? Yeah, I think they're both I think it's two different weapons. But they both are connected to the same weapon. Pluton. To Pluton? Yeah. So that means she would she would be she know how to activate it? She know how to uncover it. Uncover he has it. the blueprint. What do you mean by uncover? Like find the information about it or something. We got the information about it already. We got the blueprints. With everything. She don't know about all the um I think she can uncover the the riddle pony glyphs with Goldie Roger part. But I think Pluton is technically already known. It's just that they don't have the schematics to build it. And they don't want it out in other people's hands. They would rather use it for them for themselves, prior for future Buster calls. So you're trying to say they're not connected on two on one powerful thing? On one powerful thing? I don't see how Frankie connects to. Because they said he said the they have both the glyphs. keys, both the keys. I don't see how Frankie connects to the real pony glyphs. Right. That's why I'm thinking. Yeah, she I don't has see what something. she has to do with Pluton at all. Cause Pluton's already written down on the on the schematic stuff. I feel like we should know this. Am I missing something? I feel like we have the dots, but they're not really fully connecting right now. But I think... I'm like, I'm like, I know that they're trying to stop her because she can raise the devil. And the devil meaning Pluton. I don't think it's Pluton, though. I think it's something else. The devil would be more like an example or something. Because, like, she she didn't have nothing to do with Pluton. Because that was passed down from Tom's, uh, from Tom's mentor. Then went down to Tom, and Tom gave it to them. And that was just like a weapon that he didn't want out. Yeah, but I think it's more to it that Robin fits the picture because that's why... If it's anything with Robin, I think she can probably start it up. But I think it's already figured she's connected out. connected because that's why they had her as the wanted poster. That's why Iceberg, she's connected. I think the wanted poster is the, the, the type of being that she is. Her seeing a Buster call, so they know she's probably building that hate to unlock that that little real Pony Glyphs type of, type of whole little story, the stuff that Goldie Rogers also on. I think that's why they wanted her. And then they wanted him because they wanted Pluton, which is probably another massive, powerful weapon. But I don't she see how they, I don't see how she connected to it. Maybe the only way I say she connected to Pluton is probably because it might be like an ancient type of device made by her people that she can power. You know, you know how certain aliens can power power spaceships. Yeah. No, I think it's something that she can use her information to uncover or something. She like can that. use her information to uncover. She can use her skills to uncover. She's the only one what, what, who can to like read the schematics. Something like that. She's connected to it. I'm not saying she's not connected to it, but they I don't think she can discover anything. Same... I think it's discovered already. I feel like if if people got their hands on the schematics, they can build it. But I don't know if they can power it. Right, but I'm saying like it's something above. It's something other than that. That I don't. That Maybe I'm not you gonna with. talk about who on me who on. Oh, you, you might, might have to ask because I think they they sh I think they told us, and I think that we just need to connect the dot. I think you about to probably say he's like me who owns the weapons blueprints. And she could probably drive it. You can revive, you can revive the, the weapon. Yeah. And you who can revive the the existing weapon. This is what they was talking about with her raising the devil. Like she can like raise Pluton, but right. That's not a discovery thing though. Like this is confusing to me now. I'm gonna just let it go and just not stop the episode anymore. I'm gonna just like say it out of yeah. Which we all know that they're trying to use use all the stuff to stop that. Her does even more right now. Okay. Talk to her, Frankie. He know this firsthand. He said, no matter what weapon that she's carrying, no matter what weapons you're carrying. Oh, pretty much reciting uh, Tom. You yeah. learned that from Tom. So I say he know firsthand. I thought that he was insinuating that she had a secret weapon that he, he didn't know about. He take his spot or something? Last time he, she seen him. He must have been, he must have was the one that took Tom away. Cause uh, he had saw it, I think. Remember how he's wondering how Tom got back? Uh. Uh, Should have resulted that train. Oh, he gonna be the one to stop the train, cause we can't stop. I don't know. Hmm. True. She said that like he's still alive, which which I thought. But they said it was gonna kill him, but they didn't. I don't, I don't think they did. <laughs> <laughs> Frog Granny. She married to Jim. Right. Mm, shade. Right. Never pick up. So we just off the rails, huh? Thing still going on off water. <laughs> now they cool. <laughs> they ain't stopped a minute. Can we even see it? It was in the far distance when last time. Day station. What was the station back there called? That's that's kind of dope. That's called day station though, because mm -hmm. it's, it's always day. He bite them and stuff. He'll bite you. Mm -hmm. 
That, that thing ain't said nothing since since Lucy started talking. Dang. In this lobby. Oh, bruh. Is it? What the frick? Dang, you can. What power was that? Is that? That's causing it to do that? I don't know. I, I want to say it's probably from the whatever the whatever stopping it from like being nighttime. Yeah, but it, it seems like it's, it's 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 correlating correctly. But God dang, this is that's crazy. dope. That's dope because there's only one way in. You can't sneak around to the other areas. And that, and that distance is probably crazy dumb, like crazy dumb. Like you got to. <clears throat> it's just it's just like I expected, like probably like a. Like an island, but just you know, it's dope. Just got a lot of marine stuff around it, but not no freaking that. That that it's just different. took a big dump on freaking uh G8. Sorry, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, for sure. Sorry, that took a big dump on G8. For real, that was so crazy, bro. Yeah, that was dope. But uh, yeah, what you think about the episode so far? Um, it was dope getting like having them talking more about it, giving us more backstory on Robin, yeah. seeing getting like getting a kind of an excuse because. We know Robin's smart, but right. getting more of like an a lot like not an excuse reason. but a reason why yeah. she's she's so she's so strict on not trying to come back with us and the fact that she has been through a bust of call and it's supposed to be one of the like one of the the na marine strongest you know Thanks. what I'm saying moves like and she was the only one who was alive so it's like traumatized her yeah so she's like yeah. she lost. Yeah. Like she sat through losing everything and yeah. then just holding that in and like the one thing to threaten her with is the one thing that was that traumatic to her. Yeah. Of course somebody was like, nah man, y'all don't know what the bus calls about. I'm not trying to mess with that right now. Like Yeah. It's, it's definitely a, understandable. It's they definitely, definitely understandable. played off her emotions because we actually are the reason, the straw hats, because we became like really like the first family she had since she was young, since she's seen that. Mm -hmm. And she cared about us so much that she don't want to see that happen to us again. It happened to us, so. I still, like, um, I think, I don't know. I'm probably, like, at 90%, like, cool with Robin doing that. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did, yeah. I definitely understand. As much as I, I want to. I think I was at, like, 40. And then just showing this, it's just like, oh, like, oh, right, oh yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. I didn't know you actually went through it. And I didn't know that's what this whole fire scene we always saw you behind, that's what it was, Buster Call? That's probably why she was looking all scared when she saw Ioka, because he was probably one of the admirals and five, they had. five vice admirals was there, some other, like a lot of people from the headquarters. Yep, he's probably there. <sighs> Dang. And tore that area up like that. That's crazy, and then- uh, I wonder what the reason is, like, I, I don't, like, I feel like it's kind of like, not only it's like, they probably tried to uh, stop like a huge weapon, but they probably did it in an unethical way. Mm -hmm. And she's probably like the only type of, uh, the only witness to maybe. I feel like it's just like a lot of reasons why Robin is such um, a high target value, like yeah. high target. They they probably did some like unethical stuff. Like those people probably didn't even bother them, but they had that potential to be super powerful and bring some crazy stuff into the yeah. world. And it's like, nah, we just gotta take them all out. Yeah. Also like, um, he kind of reminded me of, um, the Uchihas from uh from Naruto, Naruto. yeah. Kinda remind me of that situation. Yeah. Yeah, like the whole family being gone and mm -hmm. being the only survivor. Yep, but, because, yeah. but I think for them but they was about to uh do like a uh like a civil war though, like start start some shit. But yeah, start some ish. But yeah. This is dope, man. I like the uh interaction between Monster Granny and um Yakuzuna. Yeah. I like them and now uh, he was like, Luffy, we got another comrade. Luffy was like, all right, cool. So I yeah. think he gonna be the one that actually stopped the ship because we don't know, because we can't stop it. That was a good uh, yeah. one right there. I kind of hope that we see what happened after Frankie got hit by the train uh, all see those years ago. See how he himself? I want to see that yeah. too. Yeah, because I want to say, because I was wondering like, man, how did he, if, if he got messed up to the point he couldn't move, how the heck he get out of that water? Now, I remember the frog was there. The frog probably went and got him. Damn, that's true. That's Crazy. true, because the frog was right on mm -hmm. the side. Frog need a haircut, though. Something, boy. What's going on with your <laughs> head, boy? Hey, grow up. What's going on with your head, boy? But yeah, man, it's dope. Ready to get to the next episode. We on 264. Yep. All right, let's get it. Let's go.
Shout out to Usopp, man. He took like three hits from the little dude yeah. and two finger two pointing. Fingers. Man, it's like the light in the storm. What you do? It seemed more like a, you know what I'm saying, a judgment type of thing. Hey, right behind him. Let's get it. I still don't understand how that got in front of the train. Oh, but my gosh. Yeah. He said, was that? <laughs> he said, it's been a while. Oh, shoot. They ain't seen each other, man. Some episodes. Dang. Okay, Chopper. Turn it to his man form. Bro, <laughs> well, we got some hitters with us. Fresh air. Mostly all of there, us. too. Oh, eight? <laughs> so it's three of them plus five of the Luchi in them. He trying to kill himself? That's that Harakari thing. That's like, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> He's like, what the f Wait, we missing one, ain't we? What? Oh, including him. Okay, Spottom is the eighth person. Spottom part of the CP9? He fake for that. real quick. He fake for that. Luchi, um, Kaku, Khalifa, Bloino. These three. It's supposed to be, how many are it supposed to be? Eight. Mm-hmm. That's seven. Am I missing anybody? Well, you said Luchi, Kaku, Khalifa, Khalifa Bueno. Bueno. That's the four. Plus these three, that's seven. So it's spot on the eighth person? No, the eighth person was uh, was Nero. He's not part of CP9. He was just a newbie. He was part of CP9. They was like, oh, y'all got a new member of CP9. Hmm. At least that's that's what I remember. I thought he was like can't. I thought like he was CP9 training. Like CP9 in training. I felt like he got added to CP9, but he was still new, and he's still learning all the powers. But I don't know. I'm probably wrong. It's funny that this dude was uh, was trying to commit the thing, but he used Iron Body to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> this man, bro. I feel like I would have not have thought that CP9 was so freaking serious, serious. You know, like that serious aura. If them three was was, was, was with him. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're kind of more... Even though I'm not saying they're not powerful, but I would have been like, oh, man, they kind of funny. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, like, all them had is, like, they got black suits on. They all, like, you know what I'm saying? FBI, men yeah. in black. Yeah. Dang, that frog's so purpose is going to be to stop this train. <laughs> That's your boy. You can't even put your head down. Oh my god, why is this thing still here? I'm done with this freaking mouse. That's the real one. I'm done with that mouse. It had me fooled. Go <laughs> see that bird. That's how them explosions be in the movies, but it's always on the side of you. It never hits you. The scenery is beautiful. <laughs> His old road dogs. And they I not swear to God, bro. They not gonna notice that. Who's up? <laughs> Everybody else know. <laughs> they probably not even gonna tell Luffy. <laughs> he mumbling it. <laughs> Who's up? Just not playing, bro. <laughs> I need to smoke. <laughs> you call them all idiots, dang. I've been thinking, what if uh, this. I don't think this is one hundred percent, but it was it was just a thought that went through my head. Like the island that 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 had the Buster call, could it be in his lobby? That was mm. just a reach. But then I'm thinking like, hmm, who is Ennis? Is Ennis the one that made that that area like that? Because because mm. it has his name. I don't know. Just wondering. That was a lie. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Probably gonna be some spinning stuff again. Oh my lord. Okay, thank God. <laughs> it was like Luffy drawing. I was hoping. I, was like, I, I, I hope you don't got no trash drawing, bro. <laughs> I wonder if this is like a mistranslation when she means Navy headquarters. Is she saying Navy headquarters is over there? It's probably a part of it. Somebody in the deep sea prison. Yeah, we know the prison is there. We know 
I thought it was three things that was here. I guess it's the gate, this uh, Navy headquarters, and the deep sea prison. What I'm saying is because like when I said that, oh, in this lobby is probably probably the headquarters of of the Navy. People like no, possibly. Maybe she's talking about the headquarters. Of the I don't know, but yeah, it's weird. So we gotta catch them before they even get in there. Dang, so the frog not gonna yeah. stop it? But the train can pass through. Dang, they gonna go before us and. <sighs> I commend y'all. Uh, appreciate it. Those are the gates of justice. What the? F what? What the frick? What the heck is that? They open just a little. They probably got something, something to to ward them off. I thought that was just the sky. Oh, oh Lord. gosh. They said, wait five minutes. He said, okay, got it. He confirmed. And this ain't still jumped in first. Remember what I was saying? Reckless? Being reckless? This is the second time in th this one episode. This is what Oops I was talking about. We already know this. Now I'm going to tell him this is the reason that, that, that she doesn't want us to pretty much die. Is because they're gonna send a bus call. He's like, so what? You see, it's like it's like that one time with the going marriage where he where he where he accepted somebody. That first him. one, I don't really count because he came back and was like, Robin's gonna die and she doesn't want to die, so we got. He save just him. he just he just gave a reason, but his first response is, so what? So like what? there's 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 reasoning like behind every choice that he makes, but. Yeah, it's just the recklessness of, 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 of him wanting to do whatever he wanted to do. That's what I was trying to say. That Usopp was like so so confused why he accepted this particular one out of all the things that he do. I don't know what he's thinking of on this one, but hopefully he, might, he probably gonna outsmart us. I don't know. Every time we think he gonna outsmart, he don't. He and then we don't think he is. They got feet. They yeah. got feet. Yeah, the, the Yagaros. I didn't. I didn't. I don't remember that. How <laughs> you thought they was swimming? Fans. <laughs> When they first showed us the baby ones, and they looked underneath the boat, and they had their legs moving like this. Oh, I probably wouldn't even pay attention. Like, I don't even remember seeing a baby one. Are oh, you talking about the small ones? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were talking about like a... Uh, he like... Hey, you get, you get shot at, bro. Luffy, <laughs> what is he doing, man? Maybe he wasn't cool with them sacrificing themselves. Yeah, I, I thought about that That's slightly. what I was like. He probably was like... I hope that that's what he's saying. Think he on the phone still, bro. If she's if she see Luffy, she gonna be like, that's gonna just give us so much hope, bro. And it's smart because Luffy could take out these Aww. people. Well, Ooh. like he just did with ease, without having oh, them go people, in yeah. and be like, I created a way for you or True. something. Where it might be loose to some of them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they, they could have handled them though. Huh? And they still gotta go against people. Cause he left all other people at the front of the gate. Where I thought that they was gonna handle that part and they was gonna run through that that part. So the way I thought it was gonna happen, I thought they was gonna You're gonna take this. Oh my God. Yeah. So like the way I thought it was gonna happen is I thought they was gonna go forward, fight the people in the front for five minutes, and then we rush through the gate and fight the same people he just fought. Exactly. And then go That's get, what I thought. Yeah. But they still would have to. They would have had to. Fight them. It's still a but bunch the fact of people. That they alert and he's probably drawing a lot of attention away from that. That because they gotta come. Work. So, but they would have had like I don't think they would have just murked them because it was only forty. You know it's saying? just that if they don't get drawn to him yeah. going through the gate, they would have to deal with the same people that they was gonna deal with anyway. Yeah. If they don't get drawn, if they don't get drawn. But yeah, yeah. If they don't get drawn. But what you think about his move? You think it was? I mean, we, we still can't really. What move? Him, him, uh, like saying after playing and jumping over and, and going. I was not that. with that. I was not with that until I thought about him maybe not wanting to see them people. Yeah. But I'm then you gotta the communicate reason. though. I'm, I'm hoping that that's like, that's, that's his the problem. Thing. That's one that's, of his problems. We know Luffy, this is Luffy's. He he does what he want to do. And he's, his intentions could be great, yeah. but he don't communicate that stuff. 
I'm just hoping. Cause, okay, I'm 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 hoping it was a reason why he do. I'm pretty certain it will, it is. That's the only thing I can think of. Like man. I'm probably like seventy eight percent certain that it was a reason, and they probably got drawn in, and then now yeah. they don't got to deal with anything. Yes, yeah. but I'm hoping, bro. But if, if we if we end up seeing them fighting people at the front, I'm gonna be like, I guess we got a head start. That's a good way to look at it. Or maybe timing wise, like had he not did that, they they would have got it through the gate. You know what I'm saying? So he probably kind of rushed. Yeah. He said, we don't got time for that. Maybe. That, that'd be a good one. I, I feel like at this point in the story, whenever we come up with a plan, somebody needs to handcuff Luffy. Yeah. Somewhere. Or somebody yeah. needs to just keep an eye on it. Like, they always look up yep. and find out he's going. Instead of, like, knowing, like... He all, they always... Yeah, low key, <laughs> that is, that's becoming a norm. Like, where's yeah. Luffy? Right. It's like... So, <laughs> that's low-key definitely becoming a norm. Well, Put him in a plan. There's no point in telling him the plan, bro. There's just, really no point. Just, just, put, just put a sea prism net, uh, a net over him. Like, all right, it's the plan. You stay here, though. <laughs> Get me uh, this time. Right. Yeah, but uh, this episode was pretty, pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? We finally made it to Ennis Lobby. Yeah. Ennis Lobby is crazy dope. Yeah, the reveal of that Ennis. door. That was that was like the biggest reveal of like a of location that I. Yeah, uh, I gotta think, but that's, that's like only time. a door. Sheesh! And she said it only opens like a slight bit, and then the Sea Kings on either side, but they got a way to of traveling there safely and stuff like that. So our window is closing. You know what I mean? Then the front part is the iron fence. Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay, so they was right that the headquarters is not. In his lobby, I think this is in his lobby, and the headquarters yeah. is behind it. Yeah, but yep, yeah, it's getting, to... it's getting crazy, man. Two sixty five coming but, up, and um, Luffy talking about something about he, he got something he want to try. Yeah, he got a new movie want to try. So that's how we find out about new movies. It's like we don't see nothing, we just like it just pops out of nowhere. Yeah. Which I'm starting to kind of like like now because I'm used to seeing people train for stuff and then like. Execute it, you know what I'm saying? Perfect it. Do you prefer them telling you they, they want to try a new move, or do you prefer it being like a boss fight and it's like some like detrimental time and he and he about to die or he need to do something different and he taps into something different? Mm, in like, this case, I prefer him saying I got a new move. I in this try. case, but what about overall anime? Overall, um, it just depends on the situation because like that. Hino Kami from Demon Slayer, like Hino that Kami. came out of yeah. nowhere. He tapped into it, and it was yeah. like fire. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like tapping the the, the uh, tapping to have just more like emotion behind it and stuff, and it's more of a surprise. Like you don't you don't know something new is coming. Now I'm knowing. I'm waiting for the new thing to come out. Yeah, but I just so, get so much emotion and be like, oh my god, what is like? I'm so surprised. Like, like, like he uh was able to tap into this because most of the times the circumstance. Is so unbeatable, like you don't you don't know how we're gonna get out of this, mm-hmm. and then bam, he come out with Hinokami. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just wonder. Yeah, I like both. I like both ways. It just depends on the situation. Yeah. And then when I will say when Luffy go off his rails and stuff, something good always come of it. Yeah, not I think trying to justify about just jumping over a fence, like him just leaving before the plan and stuff. Like, not trying to justify his actions, but, like, maybe because he just have that, that MC thing where he could turn any situation to a good mm-hmm. thing. But something good always happens. I he, think in this instance, the only thing would probably be timing. Like, yeah. had he not jumped the gate at that time, they would not have got to her, at, got to her in time. Yeah. Which is understandable. I still want to know what the heck created this freaking... Oh yeah, we don't know. Bro. I would like to know what the heck created this. This thing is really a time bomb. This time this whole bomb. little thing can literally fall into the depths of whatever this waterfall is. They probably got us. I don't know how they got a structure. Is it attached to the gate? I remember seeing three cylinders like in this area right here. Yeah, connecting to it. So I think that might be holding it up in a sense, but I don't know how it's how it's standing up. Because in my head, I'm just right now. I'm just thinking like, what if Zoro? Cut or it. somebody like Mihawk, I'm not saying Mihawk could do this, but I feel like there are people strong enough to slice this and that whole thing just fall. 
Definitely. Definitely. Based on what we know. We yeah. don't know. People are like, you don't know that it's a titanium <laughs> beam in there? <laughs> yeah. We don't know. We don't know. We don't, we don't yeah. watch it like y'all. But, but yeah, man, this stuff decent, man. This stuff is dope, man. I'm excited. Luffy came in, gun swinging, and uh, we're going to see how it See how it pans out, man. We go. 265. 265. Let's get it. Let's go. He gonna scream my name, man. Clean your freaking counter off. <laughs> hey, man. What if we had something like that? In our life, like the snail phones, where it can mm -hmm. show the emotion from the other side. I think that'll help with... <laughs> that'll uh, mess up a lot of relationships, too, though. Yeah, but that'll help with misunderstanding. Like people yeah. be thinking like you... Or probably text messaging. Yeah. Like, I, can, I can understand people via calls, but you can definitely see if, see if, see if they're making faces. Like, what? I just saw that. Your snail did this. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Hey, my snail, my snail out. tweaking, bro. Truth out. The truth will set you free. My snail be tweaking. <laughs> If you make it to the right by like, oh, she hears something. Tell, tell us your nose, huh? <sighs> they need to confirm this poly stuff, but I need my, uh, what that, what that was a one up? I think it was a one up, yeah. I want to see Nami's new, uh, new improvements. <laughs> this man is a fan, bro. Excuse me, but please let me pass. He tried to ask you nicely. Said, be prepared, okay? Ally robot. <laughs> this is a new move. <laughs> you trying to sound like a robot? He petty. Oh. Bro, when they make the live action of this, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be like so crazy to see how they do the fighting scenes. It's <laughs> not gonna be more legal cover later. <laughs> he said, see ya. Uh, so that means we gotta fight them. Yeah. The other people. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody sleep. Because it's technically nighttime. You, know you got that cannon point right there. Though. That was like it came out of his hand. Could be an animation. You, you think that's enough for you to win? Cut me. I just want somebody to cut their hair so bad. That's nasty. What did that do, technically? Mm. Just distract him? I guess he did have it on top of his hand that time you was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Did he call it a kill breaker? It's yeah. too early, bro. Don't 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 talk like that. Thanks. Just say backbreaker. Dang. Pick locking. Your girl is a criminal. Thank you. <laughs> You know, we didn't see her do anything. We got footage of you, and I don't know. Say, we confirmed it was two sides. We can't be in two places at once. Last time I checked. I don't know. Maybe she did the first one first. Mm -hmm. Dang, his gun was bigger. The shade. He was like, Ooh, uh. <laughs> they got a lot of doors in this mind. What? Got to give it to Frankie's family though. They be with it. Yeah, they with it. With the ish, they be like, "What's good? We pulling up." Yeah, but this is probably the most criminal that they've ever gotten because they was always just picking on pirates. Now they're going against the government for him. Hopefully this train don't freaking fall off into the deep. That train should have been past all of them as fast as it was going. Are those like Elbath people? Yep, that's Elbath, bro. It's gotta be. Man, I know Braggy and him ain't coming out of nowhere, but it's a happy thought. Who taking him out? Look at, these are considered, they big people. And they're coming up to their knees. I just be thinking every giant person come from Elbath. But mm -hmm. these the most closest ones. Yeah. At least they got heart. Man, this ain't looking good. I'm taking my hat off to them, though. Yeah. I'm just scared somebody getting kicked over that, to that waterfall thing. Yeah, he got laid out. He broke his freaking whatever you call it. So who out of Straw Hats is going to take care of these guys? I wonder. Man, they really waiting five minutes? I thought the plane went out the window. Shoot. We should have definitely saw them by now. Oh. I'm by myself. Get out of my way.
That episode was uh, pretty fast. Um, I feel like Luffy should have been ran into Robin by now. I thought Luffy was going to be on top of the gate and Robin was going to be looking up before she went to that fir first harem and he was going to say, I'm coming to get you. And that would have gave us some inspiration, but yeah, it didn't happen. Uh, but I feel like Luffy about to have a dope a dope scene fighting all these people. Yeah, that was dope how he set up. Luffy's his boss, man. I'm by myself. Yep. <laughs> Cracks his hand, bro. I feel like... The train is probably either going to knock them giants over or probably Zoro or Sanji are going to take care of them giants. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, those are the, mostly the only ones I could think uh, can take to it. Chopper just got his... Um, his uh, Maybe Chopper can find an accurate spot to smack him. Possibly. And then Nami, uh, I don't think she can, she can watch him afar. Usopp, Suga <laughs> King. Suga, I don't know, Suga King might get him. <laughs> Possibly, man. That's still that's like, all I needed. That's all. I just, uh, I guess we're not gonna see them like really interact with each other until the end of this in this lobby. Yeah, because Luffy is that slow. He didn't even know as hell. Tell him some nice to meet la, you. La, that's the first. Like Luffy, did you ever try to like shake somebody's hand before? Like that's he was just like nice to meet you. Normally he don't like I don't know have proper gestures like that. <laughs> Yeah. It was kind of weird. It was the first time meeting a hero. Technically. So he said, did he talk about some Cape, Cape Buffaloes or something? Our, our heroes, too? <laughs> <laughs> like, Cape Buffaloes? This man, he was like, can't you try to grab? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's dope. It seems like it's gearing up for some crazy stuff. Like, we're about, yeah. we about to be throwing hands. Because I did not expect it'll be more CP9 people for us to fight on top of Luchi. Yeah, I didn't and expect Khalifa that. and Kaku and them. I'm like, dang, they beefing up too. I did not. And then, and then, like, I feel like I'm trying to see why they keep saying that the C other CP9 members haven't been back in five years. Like, they keep saying that for some reason. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's for a particular reason or it's just just dialogue. But that's like the second time they said like, yeah, uh, because uh, Lucci said coming back it feels kind of like nostalgic. nostalgic yeah. And then. And then they was like, "Yeah, they haven't been back in five years." It's like they keep trying to trying to hone in on that, unless oh. maybe they was previous prisoners up in this lobby. Mm, no, nah, they seem to be working with them for a long time. You know what I'm saying this like, like, probably like, prisoners before. This five years just seemed like a mission that they was just doing, but before that, they was probably doing other missions. So I'm thinking like, I know that they was like undercover agents for the five years. I'm talking about like before. Like maybe they they like pretty much recruited them. It's like you you can work for us. So you saying they probably prisoners that turn into that turn into officers. Oh, I don't know, possibly. but I feel like they keep talking about every time. Every time they keep talking. Every time they keep doing something, I feel like it's a reason. Oh, I see what you same saying. thing with the clock. Like they kept showing the clock every freaking two seconds. I see what you're saying. Hey, that yeah. could be possible. They could be prisoners, and they gave them look. We're not gonna kill you if you join CP9 and work for us yeah. or something like that. Or maybe they were talking about the greatness of how the Ennis Lobby looks. I don't know. I don't have yeah. no idea. It's a lot that I want to figure out. I want to figure out why they keep talking about this five years. Maybe it's just dry. Please don't tell me the reason why or if it's not even a reason. Just let us find out. I hate when they say, no, that was a, that was not a good theory. Just just let me figure it out that it's not a good theory. Thank yeah. you. And then I want to figure out how the heck that freaking situation happened with a big hole in the floor. I want to see what's behind the uh, the uh, that freaking gate. Bro, if we I want to see, see Luffy's new technique. If the gate opens, it's technically wraps for us. In a sense. That's what the old lady was saying. Like, we have until they open the gates, um, just before they open the gates of justice mm -hmm. to save Robin. Ain't nothing but a bunch of sea kings over there. But you want to see them. I would, I would probably say that we like if they open it, we're not going to be able to open if they open it and they go in there and they close it, we're not going to be able to open it ourselves. Right. But I don't think we worry about what's, what's, what's behind it. Oh, so Aside you're from the you want to see what's behind it, meaning you're just curious of what's, what's yeah. what it look like. Just what it look, because I'm like, man, what would it look like? It's yeah. like we in a freaking ocean. Like, what the heck? Like, is it going to be something even bigger behind us? Or is that just a big shield? Like, I see what you're saying. And the way it's set up is weird to me. Like, is a gate around everything? So I could have just went around the side, jumped over the gate? Is that what they're saying? Um no, we can't go around. So so you see the gate right there? Mm. That's the gate that Luffy jumped over, right? 
What? So, yeah. That's the gate that Luffy jumped over. Not in this particular s- spot, but he jumped over that gate to get in here. Oh, I thought he uh, just jumped over the building. Jumped over the gate. Like the entrance gate. When he first like hopped over. Things. When he first hopped over. When oh. he very first hopped over, he jumped over this gate. Because this gate is in the front. So you saying with these gates on the side, you it's like can I just just that? sailed over to the side and got to the get to the big gate? You know what I'm saying? Like, That's but saying. I, I, but I'm not certain if it's like like we all know that, that gate probably this big, probably bigger than this. Yeah. So I'm not certain what would happen, but I would think somebody could just jump over the gate and just go right there. Yeah, and it seems like that gate is kind of transparent, so I don't know how that. Yeah. It's the only way to like they only open it. Like they said, they only open in a slight, so the only way right. you can get to it is like the straight middle. Yeah, it's, it's a weird setup, but I yeah. guess seeing it will will explain it to us more. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, um, I'm just ready for some stuff to go down, man. Yeah, for real, man. But yeah, it's a dope episode. Hope you enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. Check these videos out on our Patreon before we on YouTube, man. We're about probably like 40 episodes ahead of YouTube right now. We're going to keep increasing it. Facts, man. We'll keep trying our best to increase it. Let's get it. Double jogging out. Peace.